Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Uday Reddy, founder and CEO of Global Takeoff. And actually, Global Takeoff was, was basically founded with a vision where the need was for me. I was traveling globally with Nortel for more than 50 countries. And there's always been a need for home content. You know, with a lot of the expatriates and the globalization, the home content was always been a big bottleneck. So with that vision, I started Global Takeoff in 2006, uh, leaving Nortel headquartered in Atlanta. And today, we're one of the first company globally to broadcast 70 plus live TV channels on a smart connected TV. And I want to take it through. Uh, in terms of the uh, employees, we have 56 employees. We have offices in Hyderabad and Bangalore. And the primary business model is to deliver live ethnic content to any internet-enabled device, anytime, anywhere. This is a classic example where, you know, with expats, US expats living outside of US, or Indians living in the US, there's a, there's a lot of a bottleneck of having the hometown content. And what we have built today, this company enables the, the the consumers to watch the home content on any internet-enabled device. So if you look at the top seven IDC trends, and Global Takeoff is positioned to take advantage of the five out of the seven, we are on the web TV, we're on the big data, we're on mobility, we're on the cloud and connectivity. So a classic example is today, you know, the Dish Network of US to watch ethnic content for three channels, they charge $40. And what Global Takeoff with the TV brand brings to the table is more content, more, more content on multiple devices, lower cost. So consumer point of view, it's a no-brainer. And today with uh, self-funded, we have achieved 15,000 subscribers for a very small ethnic model, and more than 4 million uh, subscribers, visitors on our platform. So what is the problem we are addressing? So if you look at a lot of the broadcasters, whether it is Brazilians wants to, Brazil broadcaster wants to reach Brazilians globally, or the US experts want to watch NFL games outside of the US, uh, you know, that's, that's the major requirement from a broadcaster's perspective. And from a user's perspective, they would like to watch the content, their home content. And Yep TV is a brand which we built. End-to-end -end technology enables this need, you know, from a downlinking, encoding, streaming, you know, providing the DRM rights and complete content monetization. And also, since we built this technology, we, there are a lot of markets like local tier two telecom operators in the US and a lot of globally where they've never been able to go to IPTV uh, model. This is an area of platform where they can license the platform. And this is a, another uh, revenue model for, for a global takeoff point of view. And today, uh, Yep TV platform is now watched on all five screens, whether it is a PC, whether it is television on smart TVs like Samsung, Roku, Boxy, whether it's smartphones and internet tablets and Facebook. See, also the more important thing is with the growth of tablets and connected TV devices, the, we expect an exponential growth in terms of the subscriptions. So what is the business model here? The business model is primarily a subscription model. Today we have uh, 13,000 subscribers paying at $15 per month. There's an advertising model, for example, you know, there's an Indian content. Uh, today on Roku is one of the devices people watch 3.5 million minutes a day. People are watching like four hours per, per, per day, actually. So there's a significant untapped advertising revenue as well in terms of this business model. And also there's a licensing uh, revenues from a platform licensing perspective. This is totally self-funded with an organic growth we have we have been able to do from $170,000 in 2008 to 3.6 million revenue this year, the forecasted. In terms of paid subscribers, with the penetration of the tablets, with the penetration of the smart TVs, we have been able to grow 195% from Q1 of this year to Q3, but 
going forward with much more smart TV penetration and tablet penetration, we expect to go much more exponentially in terms of subscription revenue. In terms of the differentiation, the technology, we are able to deliver live TV, you know, bringing the live TV from 10,000 miles to deliver to any internet-enabled device, single subscription, multiple device, and let's say if you miss the program of live TV, you can watch on demand at your convenience. And also more important is for content providers providing a DRM. So we developed a fingerprinting technology. So if user rebroadcasts, we can disable them instantaneously. So in terms of the target market, you're looking at uh, 8 million expatriates. And if you 8 million household expatriates at a $15, even with a 10% penetration, you're looking at 800,000 subscribers at $15. So even today, with the content we have from an Indian uh, content, like a 10% penetration, 100,000 households, at $15 is 1.5 million a month. In terms of the achievements, the first company to launch 70 plus live TV channels to five screens, and the industry's highest content usage, globally average viewership of four hours a day, the top 20 most popular apps on Roku and Samsung TV, more than 4.5 million visitors with more than 40 million video streams a month, more than 30,000 paid subscribers, year-on-year -year growth of 279%. Alexa rank is 8,500 and more than 80,000 fa Facebook fans in less than four months. So what do we need is, is basically taking to this model, a proven model to the next level. Primarily, we are looking at a Series A $5 million funding to primarily targeting the subscriber acquisition, content acquisition, and expanding uh, you know, the sales force, take it to the next level. Okay. Thanks a lot.